Hey there, I'm Andrew Doyle and I'm a teacher and campus minister at Aquinas High School and a liturgical musician for the Diocese of San Bernardino. In the Gospel, a perhaps very upsetting phrase. It is called the unforgivable sin and it stems from Jesus himself. He states that a person may deny the Son of Man, that's Jesus, and still be forgiven, finding favor with God. But for a man, to deny the Holy Spirit is an unforgivable, unsavable sin. We struggle with this as people. Surely there is no sin that God could not forgive. He is all-powerful after all. And yet the issue here lies in the hearts of those that would commit this sin. What we need to understand is there is a difference in the way we understand someone denying Jesus in his humanity and divinity versus someone who denies the Spirit, the very essence of God that moves among us, through us, and within us. Why is this unforgivable? Essentially, it boils down to a matter of faith and belief. If you believe in God and the Spirit that He puts forth, the idea of goodness, love, or light, then you might still live a life that is Christian in nature, that is good, without acknowledging Jesus Himself as your Savior. It does not change the fact that Jesus died for your sins. But to deny the Spirit itself, is to essentially deny the existence of God as we understand it. If you deny God's existence, how can you ask for His forgiveness? It helps me to think of it in terms of another scripture that tells us faith and works are good, but faith without works is dead faith, and works without faith behind them are better, but they're not complete. We can better observe someone's true faith by their works, than to understand their lack of works due to their faith. Finally, to not sound so dour in this, let me add one bit of hope. There is a major difference between denying our faith and doubting our God. Doubt is a natural, essential part of faith. Doubt inspires us to search, to struggle, to grow, and to challenge the world as we see it. Denial of faith or God leaves no room for these things. It stems from a place of absoluteness. So the next time you believe you are encountering a denial of faith, double check to see if it isn't just doubt in disguise. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the gift of faith today. We know that there are many people in this world doing good in your name and others who do good in quiet. Help us to follow your path, even when it is hard, and at least in private, give you glory for all that you do for us and through us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.